So why do people say that they hate their fucking job and then never leave? I'm sure you've noticed that. I'm sure you've noticed maybe people that are older than you explaining to you like, I hate this job that I work or maybe it's a parent that has, that has said it before or a sibling or whoever it is or maybe even your coworkers at the same job that you're at saying they hate this fucking job. So if they hate it so much, why don't they leave, right? Well, the obvious answer to that is because the job gives them some sort of security because everyone and their fucking brother has bills these days, right? But if you're the type of person that's at a nine to five and you fucking hate that job, okay? And you have bills and you have things that you need to pay for. How do you actually break out of that job and then go pursue what you want to do? There's really two ways you can do it. There's only two ways you can do it. Okay, you can save up a bunch of a bunch of, uh, you know, months of expenses, right? All your bills. You can work overtime to make sure that you can put away enough cash, kind of like a safety net, right? Now, this is probably the smarter idea if you're, you, know, you have a family or you have a lot of overhead every month or you just don't trust yourself to be able to perform when it comes down to the wire. Now, there's another way that you can do this, which is the way that I did it, which I found a lower paying position that would cr increase my time freedom and allow me to uh, take care of my business with this new time and energy. So for example, I worked a very um, manual laborious job. Uh, it was my, the last job I worked, I was a uh, lawn fertilizer. I did, you know, weed treatment, fucking uh, pesticide treatment, and everything that was involved in basically making a lawn look greener and have no weeds and look very streamlined, kind of like the, the lawns that you'd see on a golf course, right? So we would walk these fucking yards and spray these chemicals all day. And this is only, I don't know, I'm 28 now, so five, six, six, seven, this is only three years ago. Okay, and I should have done this a long time ago. I should have left my nine to five or the nine to five route a long time ago and started my business. And we're gonna get to that, okay? So when you're working your fucking job, you literally have no time, right? And you likely have no energy either because you're busting ass at your job. Now, this is a lot easier to do if you are, you know, a younger guy and you don't have a family you don't have crazy expenses yet. This is a lot easier to do for you, okay? But this is what you do. You take the job that you're working now, you literally go take a job that is less money, but it's gonna open more time for you, okay? So a job like that could be, you know, working at fucking GNC part-time. You know, a job like that could be Uber and Lyft, DoorDash, all those ride share apps, the delivery apps, those are, perfect segues into business ownership, just so you know, by the way. So if you guys are at your nine to five and you look down on Uber and Lyft or you look down on DoorDash and all this shit, I'm telling you right now, first of all, those guys make bank. Second of all, you can control your schedule and that's what I did. I left my manual labor job. I started to do Uber and Lyft and that opened up more time for me to be able to make content and coach my clients. So I have been coaching for over a decade, guys. I've been coaching for years, literally a years so why have i not why did it take me so fucking long to go full time well the reason it took me so long to go full time was because i literally didn't believe in myself i i didn't i listened to what other people around me that didn't make money that weren't business owners and i and i took what they said to heart which i should have never done okay and i stalled myself for fucking years i i left my nine to five at 25 i should have left it at 20 do you get what I'm saying? So I want you guys to take something away from this video, okay? If you're somebody that wants to build your online business, you wanna leave the nine to five, you, you, you see what I'm doing, you see the money I'm making, you see what all these people on your Instagram and your TikTok and your YouTube are doing and you wanna be, you wanna be in the game. Well, I wanna just tell you this, okay? This is the harsh fucking reality, the harsh reality that you need to hear, okay? Most people don't have what it takes to do this. They don't. They don't have what it takes to become creative, make Instagram posts, make YouTube videos, make TikToks, 
they don't have what it takes to um, apply themselves in a different way than they always have been at their nine to five. They don't have what it takes to maybe be uncertain, right? Once they leave their job, be uncertain, not somewhat believe in themselves. I mean, everyone's uncertain, but I'm saying to be able to be uncertain and still stand strong and still know that this is what you should be doing. Do you get what I'm saying? Because guys, there's been plenty of moments while owning my business where I've doubted myself, where I've doubted my ability to, you know, push, you know, push the, uh, you know, the envelope the, the month after, right? Have a better month than my month before. Or at first it was just paying my bills, guys. When I first started my business and I was doing Uber and Lyft, I had to call my fucking brother and ask him to help me pay my rent. This is the reality. This is, and this is one of the risks that I took because I knew I was getting myself into this. I, I knew that there was going to have to be a growth period where the old Gabe and the new Gabe were gonna separate from each other. Get what I'm saying? Where I could not act and think like the old Gabe anymore because it didn't serve me. It wasn't actually getting me out of life what the fuck I needed, okay? So here's the truth. This this um, opportunity is, is literally for anyone. It's for the taking. Anyone can take it, but most people won't do it. See, that's the truth. This is why most people work nine to fives because it's just easier. And that's the truth. You can just get another fucking job. You quit your job now, you go get another job. And I know that there's a lot of people watching this video that when they're at their job, they're thinking so deeply into this, right? They're fucking on the line or they're, they're out in the field or they're, or they're on their calls or they're at their desk or whatever the job that you're doing. And you're thinking, dude, I'm literally made for so much more than this, okay? And those conversations that you have with yourself are very, very fucking important and should not be taken lightly, okay? I've seen a lot of grown men, grown men, try to, um, try to lie to themselves about what they really want for their life and for their family's lives because they're so fucking scared to get uncomfortable. They're so scared to separate themselves from the old version of themselves. And that can't be you if you want to be successful in this. Okay, so for you people that are, look, the ascension is so simple. You get in shape, you get jacked, or you just improve in one area of your life. A lot of people, they get sober, or they end up making more money, or, or they become spiritual aligned, or they have better relations, whatever skill, excuse me, skill set that you start to pick up from your life experiences, that skill set can then be taught to other people. We live in a time period, guys, in a day and age where coaching is the way. Traditional education is not going to get you where you want to go. It won't. I feel bad when I talk to people and they're like, well, yeah, I'm just finishing up this exam real quick. Well, I just want to finish up this semester then. Blah, blah. You want to finish up so you can just be in more debt and then you're not even going to make the money you want to anyway. The percentage of people that even make good money when they do get a college degree is very fucking low. Now, I'm not saying everyone should be a business owner. All I'm saying is this, is to those people who watch my content, to those people who see other people doing it, right? Fitness was the first step for me. Then it, then came business, okay? I just want you to know that it is fucking possible and you do have to take a risk. You do have to get uncomfortable and you do have to grow out of who the fuck you were to become who you're really meant to be. And that's really when you'll start to build a profitable business. It's the person first. You build the who, and then everything else is like a domino. It just falls perfectly, right? You have to become that person first though, all right? And it's gonna take everything that you have. That's the truth. Guys, follow your dreams. If you wanna build a business, build a business. If you wanna build a good body, build that body. Don't waste any more time, guys. Time is finite. I'm going to be 29 this year. I should have been saying this shit to you 11 fucking years ago. That's the truth. Guys, no victim.